So you're here, you have to, and that's what you have to do with every submission, you know, not just the pillow chair. So he's here, he's pushing, and you feel his whole body, you feel everything, you feel you're gonna say, yeah, choking here, you see? Everything is tight. And if it doesn't work, you don't care because you know, ah, you tell me something with something else. But that only works if your body is connected. You see that once again, you see, it's, it's kind of a freedom of expression. And you do what feels good in order to um, uh, just apply A, B, C, D. So it's just a feeling. You, you know, you're here, he's pushing, you're tense, you're tight, you're tight. It's like a snake, oh, you come up, break, and if he's pulling away, you step again, you go back here. Maybe you're up, maybe you change, maybe you're here, choking him, whoa, oops, sorry. Coming up, doing something else. You see? It's all about being alive and being full. By being full, I mean having conscious feeling in the whole body while applying. Not just being in your arm, not just being in your leg, but being in your whole body and moving, moving and feeling with the whole body to see where is a gap to choke someone out, to break someone's arm, to manipulate the structure or whatever. We are back still with the submission game. And um, when you say burn, I have your Bravo DVD. You showed all the different details. What are you doing here? Why are you just showing, why are you talking about feeling? Why are you talking about uh, relaxation? Why you don't show me the details? And um, I would say, trust me in this one, all the details are in the natural instinctive application of a movement. You don't have to understand things in order to do something. You know, a good musician, a good musician is singing the song, not necessarily understanding it. And the guys who understand it mostly can't sing. The same with sex. I mean, think about it. The people who have it, they may not understand it, but they have it. And the people who try to understand it are usually the guys who never have it. Same with jiu-jitsu, you know. It's a natural thing, instinctive thing. Do your job. Feel your way to the submission. It's not just, I wouldn't say it's easier, but it's more natural and it's more fun. And think about it. What are you doing here? You're training? You're training for what? You're training for joy. You want to be happy in the process, you know. There is no need in killing yourself, in uh, injuring yourself. There is no need in uh, torturing yourself, in reaching any kind of goals, but losing the fun of the game while being so much determined about um, reaching the intellectual goals of your game. I mean, look at the Brazilian guys, some of the best guys in the world. They play, they play five, six, seven hours a day. And they start with their kids and they just play and have fun. And they love the game. And that's why they have so amazing movements. And of course they tell you, this is a move I discovered, that is a move I discovered. But how they discovered it? Did they sit down and analyze everything and you know, no, they just played around and then come up with this movement. And some guy came up with this one, some guy came up with that one. So it's just about playfulness and exploration of the movement, and then you will have, um, you can create different ability, a very good ability, and you know, you have fun in the game. That's very important also. So I will show you again some more submission. But here's the same thing. Keep, keep, in, keep in mind that I'm not. I'm exp explaining some of the moves, but keep in mind to watch behind what I'm talking, you know. Look at my movements, look at how I grab, how I feel, how I move. And sometimes the move looks different than the first time, and that's okay, because not every situation is the same, you see. So just create this feeling of understanding your body, create a body feeling. If it feels good and you see the results, remember that feeling and try to do whatever you do with that kind of feeling. So um, let me show you one move which is really nice. I think it's the last move we show you from the cycle drill stuff. It is the straight up bar or Kimura, it doesn't matter. It's just same entry and you end up like this or you end up like that. I show you. Uh, thank you. So you're here and 
I mean, whatever solution, your arm is here, you know, whatever, how it happens doesn't matter, your arm is here. So what you do is, you hear, you move around. You see, you move around, you tighten it, you go up like this. Now you come up like this. And you have a kimura here. Or, you can step up and end up here with an arm. You see, the same like, like before. You can't see the most important thing. You can hear it then because you could hear his breathing. The most important thing is the pressure I give him before I go for a submission. Once again, I tell you about the pressure. So you are here. The most important thing is don't, don't think about your arm and forget your body. What I did to told you before is core is initiating the movement. Same is here, I tell you. I'm here. Now, it's not, I'm not wandering, I'm not moving around like this. No. What I'm doing, essentially, I'm doing a crunch. I crunch and I move. You see, I'm here, and what I'm doing, I'm, my body moves. You see, I'm contacting that's what I'm doing. And this is the type of feeling. And now, what I'm doing is stepping up, still controlling. Still controlling. Now I come up, having his arm here, pulling his arm back. Now you can explore, woo, wrist block, wrist block, whatever, this direction. You can grab, go here, or you can go straight up for straight arm. Again, the key is pressure. The key is when I put myself on it. It's not this one, it's not that movement. This is nothing. This is just fake arm roll. The key is, as you don't have to get up in this arm lock. You can kill him right down. You see? Show you again. The key is, forget about the outcome. Enjoy the process. And I'll show you now what I mean. You're here. The arm is here. You want to play around. You want to feel. So you go up like here. You feel. You step. Hands up. Go. Just by crushing whatever. You see? Not about arm locks, just about whatever happens, happens. One more time, another, another move, not the same. So you're here, you come up, you feel, you step, you come up here, immediately for arm lock, here, whatever. You see, then you, you do your stuff. So the key is, last time, the key is to really have a connection. And the connection is coming from the core. The connection is coming from the core, not from the arms, not from the knees, not from the feet. You are here. You are here. And you feel your way into it. You see the arms, you see your step. You move. Come up here. Oh. Maybe I come up here. Oh, I don't want to. I think I grab it here. Squeeze it here. Break it or whatever, you know? Nice move. Never planned. But nice move. Okay? That's my last submission from uh, side control. Take the details if you want, but make sure to look beyond and to care more about um, what you feel and how you feel, uh, and being connected as a human being, being connected as a whole. You know, that's what I think is the most important thing, being whole. Not just grabbing with your arms, but your arm grab, your chest is moving, you, you see, everything is in combination when you move. Not just one part of it, it's not like choke, amba, no. The whole body at once is moving in a, in a, in a wave-like way. And that makes the game more alive.